Hi, my name's Libby. We've got an extra special treat for you little learners. Here, we have our baby Tyrannosaurus Rex puppet. Its name is B-Rex. Say hello, B-Rex. B-Rex stands for Baby Rex. Now paleontologist, a person who studies dinosaurs, thinks B-Rex would be about six months old. It would take 20 years for it to grow to its full terrifying size, which is bigger than a bus. Do you know how baby dinosaurs are born? They hatched from eggs, just like birds and other reptiles like snakes and lizards today. Now B-Rex is just a puppet. No human has ever seen a dinosaur alive. They lived so long ago. Do you know how we know about dinosaurs? It's a word beginning with F. Fossils. Fossils are evidence. Traces of animals that lived a long time ago found in rocks. They could be their bones, their skeletons, nests of eggs, their footprints, even their poo. Paleontologists study the fossils to find out information about what they looked like and how they might have lived. Let's have a closer look at B-Rex. It's got two big, large eyes on either side of its head. Lots of light can get in there, so we think that T-Rex would actually have had very good eyesight and would have been able to see in the dark, a bit like owls and possums do today. It's got a big, strong jaw with one of the strongest snaps of any animal that has ever lived. And it's got these long, sharp, pointy teeth. What do you think B-Rex would have liked to eat? Shall we do an experiment? Let's see. I've got some plants here. Okay, B-Rex, what do you think of these plants? Do you want to eat them? Are you sure? Maybe just have a little taste. Split, split. Oh, they didn't like that, did they? All right, let's try some meat. Oh, they loved that, didn't they? I think we can definitely say that B-Rex is a meat eater. The scientific word for that is called carnivore. Can you say that word after me? Carnivore. Let's have a look at B-Rex's skin. What do you notice? B-Rex has got feathers. More and more, we're finding fossils of dinosaurs covered in feather-like fur, a bit like birds today. Paleontologists think this might help them to keep cool in summer and warm in winter. Let's also look at the colour of B-Rex. What colours do you see? I see greens and yellows and browns. This would have been really good for B-Rex to blend into its environment, something called camouflage. Can you say that word, camouflage? Now for B-Rex, that would mean being able to hide and sneak up on its prey, maybe another small dinosaur that it would like to catch and eat for dinner. It could also mean being able to hide from other larger meat-eating dinosaurs that might like to try and eat it while it was still growing up. But we don't know for sure. Perhaps dinosaurs were brightly coloured like parrots and other tropical birds, standing out, showing off, trying to win a girlfriend or a boyfriend to mate with. Speaking of running and chasing, let's have a look at uh, B-Rex's strong, muscular legs and tail. This would have allowed it to run very fast, like a sprinter, to run up and snap up a bit of prey really quickly. It's also got three large, strong claws for grabbing things in the ground. The tail helps to balance out its very large head, and it also helps it to run through a forest. If it was zigzagging through the trees, the tail will help to manoeuvre the body so it could do it nice and quickly. Can you think of any other animals that have a long, strong tail? I can. A kangaroo. Some of you might be wondering if B-Rex is a girl or a boy, and the answer is we don't know. Usually only the hard parts, like the bones, of a dinosaur become fossils. 
most people believe that dinosaurs roared. But the answer is we don't know for sure. No one's ever heard a dinosaur alive make any sounds. Maybe they sounded like birds, or maybe like a house gecko. Can you imagine a T-Rex going tweet, 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 or chirp, 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 chirp? Now, for something you can do at home, next time you're looking at an animal, whether that's a pet or stock on your farm, on TV or in a storybook, see if you can work out what they ate by looking at their teeth. If they've got sharp, pointy teeth for ripping and tearing up and swallowing meat, they would eat meat. If they've got flat, grinding teeth, they would like to eat plants. And if they have both, like you and me, we can eat both. If you've been inspired by meeting B-Rex today, try downloading and printing our Design a Dinosaur Mask activity from our Museum at Home website. You can decide if you want to be a meat-eating dinosaur like B-Rex and draw in sharp, pointy teeth. Or maybe your dinosaur will be a plant-eating dinosaur with flat, grinding teeth. Perhaps you'll colour your dinosaur with brightly coloured feathers so it can keep warm and show off to all its friends. Or maybe your dinosaur will be camouflaged to blend into its environment. It's up to you. Thank you for joining us today. Say bye, Rex. Bye.